A neighborhood still in shock. Police shoot and kill a man, and this is breaking news all morning long, but we still have really more questions and answers at this hour. First at four, Katie Tursik with what we do know. Zachary was the most kind-hearted man. He was a loving father of three young children and dearly loved by his wife, parents, and siblings. We are all devastated by this tragedy. Cassandra White is desperate for answers. Her son, Zachary Fornash, was shot and killed by Canton police. The ordeal playing out at an apartment complex in the yard on Allen Page Drive Southwest. Police got a call around 10 Tuesday night about a person with a gun. What's unclear is if that person was Fornash. Where's the gun? Because I haven't been told he had a gun. A short time later, a Canton police officer shoots Fornash. The 24-year-old was rushed to Altman Hospital, but later died. What led up to the shooting, Canton police aren't saying. When I saw all the lights, I decided to peek out my window and saw that there were several squad cars and they were just surrounding someone on the ground. My son laid there on the ground. I have the videos of him laying on the ground with no ambulance. 19 News did some digging into Fornash's past. According to court documents, just last month, he threatened to shoot his wife in the head. No officers were hurt in this shooting. The Bureau of Criminal Investigation will be taking over this investigation for Canton Police. In Canton, Kate Tursek, 19 News.